Every time I come to Germany, I'm always inspired by the apprenticeship programs, and I want to take a piece of that every time and bring it back to the U.S. and other parts of the world. I mean, honestly, I think they're the leaders. When it comes to apprenticeships and bringing education through manufacturing, up through the tiers, and bringing in that next generation, I tell you, I am truly inspired. And I have Mateus here today, who is in charge of well, I can't even show you all the kids because some are under 18 and they're not allowed to be on camera. So Mateus <laughs> and I are just going to have a slow walk, a slow chat, leave here. The importance of apprenticeships here. How do you see it, my friend? Yeah, it's uh, very important for us. Uh, we need uh, workers uh, the next years. We do much more things uh, to get the young people uh, to leave her, to uh, get them in an apprenticeship. Um, then that they can learn the different uh, types of, uh, of uh, electrician or mechanic or technical drawings. And they come to us and learn three or three and a half years at Leaper. Now machining is already an art form. And then you get into gears and it's even more of an art form. Mm -hmm. Do you find that a lot of the kids are still excited about manufacturing? Or are you, are you trying to like pull them in and yeah. get them excited? Yeah, at the, at the beginning, uh, often they are not so interested in technical things uh, or at school, they do not so technical uh, works. Um, and then we try to get them uh, uh, cool for, uh, for the technical things and they uh, are uh, yeah, happy with, uh, with this work. And uh, that's our job here. Yeah, well, I'm grateful that you're doing that. About how many students are here right now? Yeah, approximately 100. Wow. Uh, in the whole company, in the different uh, areas. And you're in charge of all these kids? Yeah. Man! <laughs> of the most. Uh, 18, uh, yeah, they work here in the apartment. And did you go through this program as well? Yeah, I started my apprenticeship in 2010. So I uh, make also the, an electrician. And then uh, I was at school and come back and then now I'm uh, here at the trainer. Well, thank you for doing this and keeping these kids motivated. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna ask you for a piece of advice because obviously my accent is an American accent, right? You yeah. can tell I come from the US and we, we want to do better. I know we want to do better okay. when it comes to apprenticeships. When you put this all together and you do your best to inspire the kids mm -hmm. and bring them in, you understand that you are developing the future of Lieb here, the future mm -hmm. of Germany, the future of manufacturing. What advice could you offer us in the U.S., yep. in America, to do a better job of, of creating apprenticeship programs that can survive and thrive over there as well? What have you, what have you done here? Yeah, I think the best is the combination between the school uh, and uh, the companies. So they learn the company practical things and uh, the, the school, the theoretical things. And this combination, I think it's one of the best uh, of the model in, in Germany. Well, I know how much you love the camera and how excited you were to be on camera today. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you with one last question. Yeah. Am I too old to join your program? Uh, a little bit. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, maybe next time. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us, Mateus. Thank you thank for you sharing too. your time and keep inspiring these students. I'm inspired. I hope you are as well. Let's continue to bring the next generation of manufacturers and get them excited as well. Thank you.